Hi everyone, I'm Ray Vieta and this is News for Now for Thursday, July 11th. First, we need to talk about some severe weather slamming the tri-state tonight. Most of the region is at risk for flash flooding, heavy downpours, and strong winds. Flash flood watches are in effect in New York City and most of New Jersey for most of the night as the storms move in. And once they start, you can expect pretty awful conditions through the overnight hours. Right now, the biggest threat is in central Jersey, but most of the Garden State, the Hudson Valley, and New York City could see flash flooding. Once the system pushes out early on Friday, you can expect a sunny, steamy end to the work week with highs near 90. Now we turn to a fatal fire in Queens. Investigators are now calling it a case of arson. This is what's left of the home in East Elmhurst. The fire erupted around 4 Wednesday afternoon, killing a 6-year-old girl and her 70-year-old grandfather. The girl's baby brother and mother were both critically injured. A house guest believed to have set the blaze was also killed. Investigators say he poured gasoline on the floor and lit a match after the mother asked him to leave. Family members are devastated. We were arranging birthday parties for Saturday. <laughs> and now we're arranging funerals and arranging bodies to be transported. In Manhattan, scary moments when a taxi jumps a curb and nearly slams into a restaurant. You can see the cab here in this video from the Citizen app. It happened around lunchtime outside the Westville restaurant on 9th Avenue. The cab hit several tables on the sidewalk, injuring eight people. Five were taken to the hospital. The other three refused treatment. It sounded like a shelf falling. You know, that was my first thought was that something large fell. Federal agents plan to begin immigration raids this Sunday. Two senior Homeland Security officials tell NBC News that 2,000 undocumented families will be targeted. The raids will reportedly happen in 10 major cities, including here in New York. President Trump had postponed the raids weeks after they were first reported. Finally tonight, how much did you spend on your last pair of sneakers? Now imagine shelling out more than 100 grand. That's how much some rare pairs are expected to go for at auction over the next few weeks. Sotheby's says a 1972 Nike waffle racing shoe will likely sell between 110 to $160,000. It sold for just 20 bucks when it was first released. Also on the auction block, dozens of other incredibly rare kicks. The auction runs through July 23rd. That's all for tonight, but keep watching for the latest on that massive tropical storm system zeroing in on the Gulf Coast. I'm Ray Vieta. Thanks for checking in.